Pioneer Campers. They're built in Australia, in Victoria. Now the owner of this Onyx has brought it in to see if we can try and iron out a couple of pain points. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Our Pioneer Campers, they're solid little units, built in Australia. What I like about them is that you can really tell that the design team and the people who build it make things that just work. Now the thing I like most about the Pioneer Campers is the engineering. Now most camper trailers are just built with 90 degree boxes. So it's a lot easier to put a door on a 90 degree box, but by the time you put it all together, you've got a camper trailer that looks kind of boxy. I don't know, is, is boxy a word? Now on the Pioneer Onyx, most of the panels have these beautiful angles. The doors have beautiful angles. And to top it all off, all the folds and panels and doors follow beautiful lines down the unit so you end up with a very good looking camper. Now, under these beautiful doors and panels, there's some awesome engineering. And I'll give you, I'll just, just give you a couple examples, right? And then that'll, that'll lead on to uh, the pain point that we're talking about. So, under this panel here, hidden away, is the kitchen, okay? Take the door, for instance. There's no gas struts, but the, the door just stays up by itself. You know, it's got a light on it, awesome. Now, to get the hot plate out, all you need to do is pull this spring loader pin here and this just starts swinging out. See how smooth it is, but see the tolerances here. How amazing is that? They've cut the corner off and it just fits beautifully. And yet you can swing it all the way out nice and smooth and bring it over to here. And see this little bung here? That's got a little hole there, so when you click it in, you just give it a little push and it locks it in position. So even when you open the glass, look how it just misses. Just beautiful, right? So now you're just about ready to make a cup of tea, except you've got to go over, open the panel on the LPG bottle to get access to it, unhook it from the bottle holder, pick the bottle up, put it down at your feet here where you know, you'll be making the cup of tea, then you've got to get your tools out, hook on the uh, regulator to the bottle, hook it into the bottom of the hot plate, turn the gas bottle on, turn the gas uh, hot, hot plate on, press the sparker and it should light up. So then you can make yourself a cup of tea. And after that, you deserve one. So you can see why the owner thinks that's a bit of a pain. And frankly, I can see his point. Get it, pain point? Dad joke, stop it. Okay, so the Pioneer Onyx um, comes with a gas regulator on it already. And also a plumbed in gas line, okay? So this line here goes to the hot water system that's uh, located behind this door here, okay? now. This isn't to standard anymore. This regulator needs to be slightly higher. You can't just come straight out of the top. So what we're gonna do anyway, the regulator's oh, nearly over five years old now, so it's best to replace them because they've got like rubber diaphragms in them that tend to fail, so you don't wanna be out of the bush and something failing, you're not having any uh, gas to cook stuff with and stuff. So we're gonna take this regulator out, put a new one in, uh, put a 90 degree angle on it to um, hook it into here. We'll also, this is a smaller gas, the smallest gas pipe, right? So we're gonna enlarge it, um, just to cope with the extra megajoule ratings from the, uh, you know, from the new appliances because we're going to put a, a bayonet uh, in for the barbecue and the hot plate. Okay, now the easiest option was just to chuck a tea in here, just run it across the top of the camper and just willy nilly and it'd be fine. Mate, but totally, I wouldn't do that. You know, even if you paid me, I wouldn't do that. Well, maybe. Well, it depends. If you really wanted it done and, uh, you know, you paid to pay a bit of money, then I'll, but, you know, we could discuss it anyway. We could discuss it. Okay, so I've come up with a solution try and iron out some of these pain points. This here is a wet storage, okay? So you can put stuff like, you know, hoses in there, um, wetsuits, bathers, uh, even rubbish, just stuff you don't wanna have in the camper to get to get smelly. So my thoughts are I'm gonna try to install a gas bay, you know, a couple of gas bayonets in here, so it's very close, you know, for the hot plate to hook onto. Um, also, what's gonna be good about it is that when this door is shut, the bushes aren't gonna hit it. It's gonna be not as much you know, dust and rocks hitting it or something that's protected. And also, it keeps the beautiful lines and everything, you know, smico, so you're not seeing these bayonets um, hanging off the bottom of it. So, stay tuned and we'll, um, we'll show you what it's like on the other side of the build. G'day guys. The uh, Pioneer Onyx is all sorted. I'll just show you a quick rundown of what I did. Just open this up here. So you got the... We've um, put on a new gas regulator, okay? We've enlarged the gas pipe down here, sleeved it. These are the um, information 
um, stickers that you need to put on and, and you know, the license that attaches along with it. You can see it's got a nice um, new flexi on there as well, which is, uh, you don't need any tools to, to hook, hook that on. Okay, so what I've done, and also the hot water system down here, that line sort of comes in and they all join in a T underneath the, um, like the water containers and stuff here. So it's all kept up underneath. I'll just show you down here where, where I put the bayonets. It turned out really, really sweet. So I've got one up here, which is for the um, barbecue. And this one here is for the hot plate. Now you see how I've put them on a bit of an angle because this door hangs down like that, okay? So I wanted to make sure that that wasn't affecting the um, barbecue bayonets. Okay, I'll just show you how easy it is to uh, hook the, you know, the barbecue up. So I've got my three meter hose, okay? So you grab your bayonet in. Down here you'll see it's got a dust plug. Easy, just pop that out. Stick it in there, give it a twist so it locks in there, okay? Now, this, um, Got a dust plug, we'll just get these twists out of it. Okay, that's got a dust plug, right? You just pop that out too. No gas is gonna come out, even though this whole hose is, hose is live now. Okay, so you, here, you just, just feed it through your normal bottle. What I normally do is just put my thumb on it like this, okay? Get through, put, put your thumb on it, and pop it on like that. And then, you can see at the top here, we just turn it on, give it a bit of a spark, and you can see it light up. Okay, so that's, that's good to go. It's normally it's got grill in there, of course, but, um, it's a lot lighter when we're doing that. Okay, so that's... Okay, so just to pack it up again, put your thumb on it. Pops off easy enough. Right, grab your, grab your pug. Pop that back in there. Okay, go on. And take it off. Okay, get your dust plug. Pop that back in there. Easy as that. Roll up your hose. And you can pack that, usually just chuck it on barbie and now the hot plate super easy i love this check this out okay again open it up amazing door just stays there without gas struts still don't know how it works pull this little uh spring loaded catch here that just slides out right all the way lock it into position there clip grab the gas gas hose doesn't matter what you put on first i always like to put the bayonet on first okay chuck that in this is only a 1.2 meter because you know Needs to be pretty short so it doesn't get in the way when you're making a cup of tea. All you gotta do then is just push it onto the bottom so it's connected, all, all good. Open this up. Now you push it in, give it, give it a couple of sparks. See there it is, lit up nice. So you start making your cup of tea. Very easy to do. And uh, yeah, so now yeah, you're cooking with gas. So how easy is that? Um, there it is, Pioneer, Pioneer Campus Ionox. So if you've got one of these and you're thinking about are you making it a little bit easier, Give us a call. So we've got a large workshop. Now many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Haitian Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches bushes or just to support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.